Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. The gearboxes of modern Formula One cars are highly automated. We shift gears by using the paddles behind the steering wheel. And um, they're maybe a little bit comparable to the sequential gearboxes from motorbikes, except that our gear changes just happen so much faster. They're seven speed boxes, seven ratios with one reverse. And the thing that's really developed in the last few years is what we call seamless changes. And that means we change from one gear to the next without losing any power from the engine. We don't have to dip the clutch, we don't have to lose drive. And what we actually do is engage both gears at the same time. One starts to overtake the other, and just before it becomes a problem, the other one pulls out. So we get seamless acceleration. First of all, there's the gear ratios, which you need to tune from one track to another. And then there's also the way the shifts happen. Because very often you're in the middle of the corner and you have to shift, so you need to make sure that the shift is very smooth. Otherwise, you could snap the rear away and you could spin, and you could, uh, you could be off the track. That requires a lot of detailed work. They're also very tough little things. They're, uh, they weigh around 35 kilos, but they've got to take 750 horsepower and a huge amount of torque from the engine, 350 newton meters. So they're, they're really nice pieces of engineering, almost like uh, Swiss watchmaking when you look inside them, but great piece of engineering. In the typical race, I might shift about 3,100 times. So you can imagine that all I'm doing all the time is like shifting. And at the same time, I need to change brake balance, switch on the curves, the rear wing, the differential. So there's a lot going on in the cockpit. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.